Hey everyone, it's your girl Twin D, and thank you for coming along and viewing my channel. If you have been with me for a while now, you may already know my story. I am a twin flame and I am trying to help other twin flames to get into union faster and more smoothly. And yes, to make things more smoothly than what I went through because I use my experiences just to help people and also through my tarot card readings from, for guidance. Okay. Now, I'm doing something a bit different today where I'll be using my little charms, I call them, but I have the silver earring, the pearly little charm, and my bracelet. So I'll be doing a pick a card reading, and here I have three piles you choose the one you want, focus on the one you want, the one that's pulling, pulling you towards it, and you choose the pile that you feel you will resonate with the most. So the pile with the bracelet or bangles, whatever you want to call it, my country would say bangle, that's pile number one. And pile number two, this is the pearly, goalie, little charmy thing. And pile number three, the silver earrings. All right, I know none of these, they're not real, okay? I can't afford those real gold and silver stuff. Fashion, all right? <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the reading. Just take a break, pause, relax, and choose the pile that you think you'll resonate with the most, okay? So remember, this is pile number one. Pile number two and pile number three. Okay, let's get into it. And before I start any reading, I always say my prayer. So, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, let's get into it. So we're going to start off with pile number one, the bangle. Let's move these out of the way. So pile number one, the bangles. Let's see the cards that we have. We have blessings of innocence and purity, prosperity, that's a message from your lover, Twin Flame, the man holding heart, the ace of wands, King of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Ace of Wands again. So we have three Wands in this card. This is definitely a new beginning for someone. This is definitely a new beginning. And also, we have three messages here from your masculine, but I'll read those after. Okay, so for, you have the Ace of Wands twice. Two new beginnings. Amen. <laughs> Confirmation. Two new beginnings. And from this card also, this is a two of wands. 
And if I should put them together, from what I'm seeing, this is a twin flame relationship. 11, 11. Two ones and two ones. 11, 11. This is a passionate new beginning, a new start for someone. You're going to have a passionate new beginning and new start. The blessings are going to come pouring in. Your wishes are going to start coming through. You're going to be blessed. Blessed by God with love. And then you have a, the King of Cups. A lot of emotion is going to come from this person towards you. A lot of emotion. They are filled with emotions for you. And they are coming with a surprise. With the Ace of Cups. They are coming to build. They are coming to grow with you. They're coming to make sure that you're there with them, that they are there with you, that you're never going to leave each other's side. He has the crown coming to make you his queen. That's not on his head. He already knows he's the king. This is the king of cups. But this crown is for his queen. And he's going to give this crown to his queen which is you, for that new start, that new start filled with emotions and love and growth, prosperity. And as I say prosperity, I'm, I look at this card. <laughs> so you guys are going to have prosperity with your twin. And with the Four of Pentacles, he's not going to want to let go of you. He's not going to want to let go of this new, new love. This is how your masculine feels about you. This is how your masculine feels about you, pile number one. Oh, and if I didn't say it before, this reading is how your masculine feels about you. So sorry about that pile number one. But he does feel strongly towards you and he's not going to want to let you go. He does not want to let you go. You're, you're, his, you're his forever. You're his charms. You're, you're his gold. You're his everything. And he's going to hold on to you for dear life. Because he realized that if he lets you go, he's going to let go of abundance. A love he has never known before. And he's not going to let you go. That's why he's coming in with a new beginning. He feels that he wants a new beginning with you. And a new beginning you're going to have. Because it came out twice. <laughs> it came out twice. So a new beginning you're going to have. Your divine masculine feels passionately about you. We have four ones here. A lot of passion this divine masculine has for you. No wonder he doesn't want to let you go. We have four ones. That's also signifying marriage to four of ones. Marriage, celebration, happiness, commitment. And here he comes as a man holding heart. Coming to offer you his love. Oh my God, I feel so excited for you guys. <laughs> He's coming to offer you guys his love, his heart, his soul. Offering you abundance. Oh my God. You guys. This is beautiful.
Let's see what he has to say for your love message. There, none of you want to let go of each other. It's beautiful. The light is just shining. They're shining on you two alone. You two are going to be in the spotlight. You're going to be known. You're going to be loved. You're going to love each other. You're going to take care of each other. And the message that your masculine has for you. Oh, and the time is 1-1-1 p.m. There you go. 1-1-1. All aces for you. 1-1-1. One, one, one. One, 11 At the time of number one's reading. <laughs> Synchronicities, man, I tell you. Oh my gosh, pile number one, this is awesome. <laughs> awesome pile number one. And his message to you, two souls with but a single thought, two hearts that beat as one. And this is just like the twin flame relationship. Two souls but with a single thought, two hearts that beat as one. Oh. That's beautiful. That's how your masculine sees you. He sees you two as being one. As being together. Two hearts that beat as one. And how can you let go of your own heart? He doesn't know. That's why he's going to keep holding on to you. And he's not going to want to let you go. That's just beautiful. And let's get you some messages from your archangel. And when I talked about prosperity, this is all prosperity right there. That's just beautiful. Everything in gold, everything is glittering. Everything is fulfilling. Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So the masculine is manifesting his dreams into reality. His dreams of being with you. His dreams of wanting you. His dreams of all the passion that he wants to give to you. His dreams of starting a new life with you. His dreams of starting over. His dreams of starting a new beginning. He sees you as being prosperous. He sees the, the life he's going to have with you as being prosperous. That's just beautiful. Oh, makes me want to cry. <laughs> And a message from the higher one. Blessings of innocence and purity. God bless those whose hearts are pure, for they will see him. And God is love. And once your heart is pure, you will see love. You will experience love. And that's what happened to your masculine. He was transformed. His heart was transformed. Just like the man holding a heart. His heart was transformed and he wants to now give it to you. So for blessings of innocence and purity. It's pure. It's innocent. It's like a new start, a new beginning. In love. Blessed by God. Okay, pile number one. That was an awesome read. I'm happy for you guys. Now let's see the messages that he has for you. First one. 
I love you so much, I can't look into your eyes. Wow, this guy. Ooh. He loves you so much, he can't look into your eyes. You'll melt his heart. You'll melt his heart. I don't think I can do this anymore. He doesn't think he can stay away from you anymore. He doesn't think he can do this. That's why he's coming in with the new offers. The new offers of love, passion, new home. New beginning. You don't think he can stay away from you anymore. And your third message. Come here. Can we start over? <laughs> That's what I said. He said he wants to start over with you guys. He wants to start over. He wants a new beginning. Your masculine is going to start over with you. Beautiful. Oh my, that's lovely. Now that was your reading pile number one. Just beautiful. Now let's move on to pile number two. And that's the pearly, goldy little, little thing. Pretty little charmy thing. <laughs> okay, pile number two. Let's see the cards that you got. And of course, your three messages. Oh, I'm tongue tied. I can't even speak. <laughs> your three messages that I read at the end of your reading. Okay, pile number two. First off, communication. Communication is coming your way. Fast communication, communications of blessing, flourishing communication. Communication that's going to be worth your while. Communication that's going to be the new start, the beginning of something new. And it's going to come very fast. You're not even going to expect it. But it's coming. Something is going to grow from this communication that you're going to receive, pile number two. This is how your masculine is thinking about you. He wants to communicate with you. Your masculine wants to communicate with you. And the chariot. He's thinking about moving forward to you, no matter what it takes. Fast movement again, the chariot. His emotions are going wild. He's going crazy. He's been thinking a lot and he has come to the conclusion I'm going to move forward. I'm going to communicate. He's going to bring communication, pile number two. He's thinking about that. And the seven of cups. Daydreaming. Daydreaming about the life that you guys can and will have. 
is daydreaming. Looking at all the different things that he's going to have when he's with you. How prosperous you're going to be. The different choices that you have that, that you're going to make together on a new journey, a new life. He's thinking about you and he smiles when he's thinking about you. You bring joy and peace to him. Joy in thinking about all the different things that you guys are going to do together. Joy in thinking about how much he loves you. And when he says, I love you, it's going to put a smile on your face and it's going to put a bigger smile on his face. And the Six of Cups. <laughs> He's remembering. He's remembering all the love that you guys had in the beginning. All the joy that you guys share. This is like emotions from, the, from someone in the past. He's strong in the way that he's thinking. He's not going to stray. He's not going to stray from these thoughts because he knows how happy and how strong these thoughts make, make him feel. You're his past. You're his present. And you're going to be his future. And here we have the world. He's thinking that you're his everything. Going on to a new path with you. Journeying, journeying into the unknown. But he's happy because he's going to be with you. He may not be able to... Confirmation. Confirmation. He may not be able to see everything, but he knows where he's headed. He's on the right path. Oh. He's going to communicate with you. I don't know, maybe a phone call text message, whatever. He's thinking big. He's thinking about everything that you guys can have together. It's like he, he now knows that with you by his side, you can conquer the whole world. And not to say to take it over, but have anything you want, <laughs> you desire. You're going to have the power to do that. You, he has the desire to do anything with you. Your masculine is thinking the world of you. Wow. Oh, let's see what love message he has for you guys. I always love these cards. But I see the message here. Love is perfect even when we are not. So your masculine is thinking about what happened in the past. With your love, his six of cups. All the emotion that you guys had for him. But he was so rough. He was... He didn't accept it. 
he felt free, he felt wild. Like, let me just do my own thing. I, I don't really care. But he's thinking about that. And he wants you to know that love is perfect, even when we are not. So he's sorry about what he did in the past. And he's happy that you love him because he now sees it. And he sees all the opportunities that you are offering him and that you can have with him now and in the future. He now realizes everything and he wants you to know that only love is perfect because us as humans, we are not. So basically he's asking for forgiveness. <laughs> Basically, he's asking for forgiveness. Okay, and the message, pile number two, from the archangel. You are a counselor. See, as I said, you were talking to him before, showing him what you can do together, showing him what your relationship is, but he didn't listen. But anyways, Archangel Azrael, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So your, your masculine benefited from what you were saying, even though he didn't care, but your words never left his thought. Your words never left his mind. They were there in the back of his head until he went deep inside and realized everything that you were saying to him. And he's going to take that journey. He's going to take that step and move forward to you. Which everything here is showing a new beginning, moving forward, communication. Communication is coming for you. So those of you who are in separation, Communication is coming in for you guys. Fast communication too. Fast communication is coming in. And a message from the higher one. See everything through the eyes of love. Exactly. <laughs> That's how the masculine wants you to look at everything. That only love is perfect. Only love is perfect. And even God himself is telling you to see everything through the eyes of love. See everything through the eyes of love. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. See everything through the eyes of love pile number two. Because your masculine is coming in. It's coming in with a lot of communication, fast too. Fast communication with the eight of wands and the chariot. Because he's thinking about you, he's daydreaming. He's daydreaming about the life that you guys had in the past how happy you guys were, how free you felt. And now he wants to have the world with you. He wants to give you the world. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, look. I did not see these cards before, okay? Look at your message, your message from your masculine. This is how he's thinking of you. Union. I know we are twin flames. Just like I was saying, he has been thinking about everything that you said. And he's now realizing everything. And he knows you love him. See everything through the eyes of love. And he wants you to know that only love is perfect. I know you love me. He now realizes everything. Guys, this is awesome. Wow, getting awesome messages today.
Pile number two, your masculine wants union with you. No wonder he's coming in with communication. And he knows that you're twin flames. He's going to talk about everything that happened. Why you ran away. What happened before. What happened when he realized who you were. And how he came about to know that you truly love him. Because he's been thinking about the past that you guys had together. All the emotions that were there and he ignored it. But now he realizes and he's going to come in with communication and bring union and satisfaction to you guys. Wow. Pile number two. That is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> I love this. I don't even want to move this. <laughs> Okay, pile number two, that's your reading. I have to move them. <laughs> Union. <laughs> pile number two, I'm really happy for you guys. Really happy for you guys. Every, well, one and two so far has been great. Now pile number three. The silver earrings. Earring. Let's see what your message is. Oh, that's my microphone cord. Sorry, guys. I hope you can see these ones. And of course, your messages, pile number three, that I'll read for you after. Okay, let's begin. Pile number three. Somebody realizes something. Somebody realizes something. With this judgment card, somebody has made a judgment call on something. A judgment call has been made. This person was in deep contemplation, talking to God, asking God for help, seeking guidance. And now they've made a decision. They're opening their arms accepting what God has given to them, accepting what they see, accepting what they now know. I love you. I just heard I love you. I love you so much. Now, whether that's thanking God or telling you that they love you, It's the same thing because God is love. Pile number three, your angel. Sorry, well, he's, he's your angel. <laughs> Anyways, your masculine has been thinking about you. He's been thinking about what to do with you, where to go, where to start. And I have the Three of Swords in reverse. 
No more heartache. No more pain. It's moving on from that heartache, from all that pain. He's in recovery mode. Things are going to start to blossom. This past is dead. With the heartache, that's dead. No new life is going to come. I think, I hope you can see this with the elephant bringing the tree branch. That's a new beginning right there. New beginning. And in the background, you can see the sun, the sunlight coming from the dark clouds. Happiness is going to come from the death of this heartache. Nothing but happiness. Nothing but happiness. And the magician. Things are going to start to unfold. Things are going to start to come together. This magician is going to work his magic to make sure that everything that he wants is coming through and he wants you because that's how he's thinking of you. He's thinking about moving forward to you, having everything flourish, new birth. He's going to create the life that you deserve. He's creating everything. And again, with the judgment card, it's like this masculine went into deep contemplation, talking to God. And now, with these cards showing that he's receiving the blessings, receiving the blessings that, that came from God, his twin flame. Oh, that's awesome again. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, that song's coming to my mind. My God is awesome. <laughs> He's awakening, he's reflecting. Reflecting at one of what went on with all the heartache before, but now there's no more heartache. He's gonna give you everything that you need, everything that he has discovered. He's thinking about the heartache that he caused you, but no more, no more heartache. No more heartache. No more heartache. He's going to cure you. <laughs> He's going to create a new life. He's going to create a new love. One that you truly deserve. And it's going to happen. It is going to happen because he's going to create it. And with the infinity symbol that will never end, that love that will never end, and whatever he creates between you two will never end. It's going to go on from generation to generation. It's infinity symbol. Connection between you, him, and God. And the love that you guys have for, it, for each other is going to continue. It's going to be passed down to your kids. Their children, their children, children, their children, 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 children. 
But this type of love is never going to end. It's never going to die. And then we have the Queen of Swords. With the Queen of Swords, to me, this is the truth. It's, it's, it's thinking of you as a clear-minded person. You understand life. You know the truth. You are telling him the truth. You are showing him the impossibilities. And to him, that's what they were, impossible, impossibilities. He's looking at you as if, as how you look at things so, that are so complex, but yet still you understand everything. And maybe that's how, that's why he loves you so much. Maybe that's one of the things that your masculine loves about you. You're intelligent, you're brilliant. You, you see the, the, the truth in everything. You look at things on a more different level than other people. And you always try to bring about the truth. Because you're clear-minded. You think clearly. Things may seem impossible, but you always seem to find a way out. The Divine Masculine is looking at you and saying, how is it that this woman loves me so much even though I was so hard? I was so hard and so harsh towards her. But he now realizes why, because he now sees that you're a clear-minded person. And you can see through complexity. It doesn't take, it's like it's nothing for you. This is hard, but hey, I'll give it a shot. I'll take a look. And I'll solve it for you. And then you have <laughs> the Ace of Swords. Sharp mind again. This is how your masculine is seen. You're a sharp minded person. You see through things even when nobody can. You find clarity in everything. The truth. And he's also now seeing clearly. And how much you love him. You're not going to let him go. You're not someone who is just going to come and go. That's also a new beginning there for you with the ace. And the walking away card. He's leaving everything behind that does not serve him. It may seem beautiful back then. It may seem like that's where he should be back then. But he's gonna leave that behind and go towards what he now sees and knows, his caring connection. And this is the number five, change. Change is coming. He knows you love him. He's probably going to bring you flowers. <laughs> He's probably going to bring you flowers. And those flowers are beautiful. Maybe surprise you too.
but he now knows what a caring connection you guys have or what you have for him. He sees everything. And he's going to put every single thing that he has together. Create it. Create the life that you guys deserve. Walk away from the past and the heartache that he caused you. And he's thinking of you as the most caring connection that he has ever known. The most caring person that he has ever known. Hence, that's the reason why you see things so clearly. And that's one of the reasons why he loves you. And now let's look at your message. <laughs> oh wow, he says, the strongest emotion is often expressed in silence. So this divine masculine too may not be saying much right now. Or you probably have ghosted him. And you're not speaking to him right now. But he knows that's because you love him. He knows that's because you see the type of love that you guys can have and the relationship that you can have, the caring connection that you guys can have. And he did not move towards you. But this is love. And the strongest emotion is often expressed in silence. That's love. And he doesn't have to say anything. Oh, which is why he's bringing you the flowers or a gift. Because his emotion of love, saying it alone, will not do it justice. He has to show you too. He's going to show you how much he loves you because just saying I love you doesn't cut it. He does not think that that will cut it. He thinks he needs to do more. He's probably going to give you a gift. <laughs> and a message from your angels. I, I get this card a lot. Clairsentience, Archangel Raguel. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Exactly. All that you're feeling is guidance from your angels for both you and your masculine. All that you guys are feeling are guidance from your angels. Pay attention to how you feel. If you're thinking about making a move, to, move towards your feminine, do it. It's guidance from above. If you, Divine Feminine, are thinking about making a move towards your masculine, analyze stuff and move. Follow your heart. Follow your feelings, your emotions. And if these feelings, you keep getting these feelings over and over and over, divine masculine and feminine, their guidance, they're a little push from your angel to say, go ahead, do this, do that. So notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. And from the higher one himself, follow the path that's right for you. See? That's why a judgment call has been made. Divine masculine, I think this is for you. Follow the path that's right for you. That's why he's thinking about you so much, Divine Feminine. Because you're his path. You're the path that he should take. And you're the path that's right for him. 
God bless those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Ho, ho, ho. Follow the path that's right for you. <laughs> God bless those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Divine feminine, you're going to be blessed. If you patiently endure what has been happening to you throughout this journey, all these testings, all these temptations, you're going to be blessed because your masculine is coming in. And you're not going to have any more heartache. No more heartache for you. The truth, the truth is coming in. And a new beginning, a new life, a new love is coming in for you. Now let's read your messages. <laughs> this is the good part. Oh, four cards. Yes. Okay, let's see your messages here. I hope you can see these. Oh, I'm messing up my thing. Okay, so the first one says, things are not what they seem. I am just feeding my ego. He's trying to say feminine. I'm not really interested in these other persons that you see me frolicking about, frolicking with. I'm just trying to feed my ego because I was this kind of guy before. But now I know that you're the one for me, but how do I leave this life behind? But when all that is said and done and over with, He's going to come back. So wait for me. Wait for me. And just as what God says here, God bless those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Wait. I never meant to hurt you, but I think it's time that I learn to treat the people I love like I want to be loved. This is lesson learned. So he learned his lesson. He learned his lesson from feeding his ego. He learned his lesson. He learned his lesson, man. He now knows, and not right now. It's not right. It's not going to happen right now, which is why you got this card. God bless those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Your time is coming. Pile number three, your time is coming because your divine masculine is thinking about you, thinking about making things different, thinking about changing. So this could be for some of you feminines who are in the earlier stages of your twin flame relationship. And if you choose this file and you think you're closer to union, then you still are going to get clarity. But not at this very moment that he's going to come. You still have some more work to do. There's still some more work to do on your part and on your masculine's part. But things are going to happen. Because he has made a judgment call about you. He has made a judgment call about you. And that's to make sure that he does not give you any more heartache. Because this is what he wants with you. Caring connection. So things are in the works. Things are in the works for you, number three. Okay, guys. Those are your readings. 
I do hope you liked it. It's a change. I wanted to do a little change. Now tell me how you feel about my little change in readings. Pick a pile. Do you want me to do more pick a pile? Or no? <laughs> or just continue with the way I normally just read the messages. Plus, I'm just going to try and do things differently. So you guys have different options. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And I do hope these, message, these messages will um, relate to you guys. And I will see you guys another time with more messages. And I will also be going live every Sunday at 6 p.m. So watch out for the notifications. Okay, guys, thank you all for stopping by. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye. Love you.